Uh, -da -dum. Hey everybody, Last Outrider here with the next part of Adeptus Mechanicus. This time we're talking about Crucibles of War. The Empire of Mars is indispensable to the Imperium's survival. Churning with the industry of war, its forge worlds provide ships, weapons, and armor to a million armies. And in doing so, ensure an immortal influence over mankind. Is that crazy? Now we're going on to Lucius, the Hollow Forge. Lucius is one of the Imperium's Super Natura Majoris, a unique jewel in the Adeptus Mechanicus's crown. A hollow world. Lucius has been part of a grand experiment that should have destroyed it a dozen times over. In the center of the planet's once barren core is an artificial sun, a titanic fusion reactor that powers the industrial sprawl covering the inside of the world. Not no one truly knows how this energy source came to be, though the planet's tech priests are quick to claim credit if pressed on the matter. Lucius's boundless power supply has kept it on the forefront of military innovation. Many latter-day vehicles and guns hail from this forge world, and their numerous Iron Striders and Onagar Dune crawler, Crawlers are the most bellicose of all the Skitari legions. <clears throat> the Titans of Legio Astorum are known as the Warp Runners and are the only god machines sophisticated enough to teleport straight into battle. That'll mess you up. This is a point of pride amongst the Lucians, and cause of envy amongst their fellow legions. These all-too-human emotions have flared up into the open conflict at times. The disastrous Inculcata Schism, which nearly saw the Forge World implode, with force enough to rip a hole in reality, is only spoken of in whispers to this day. <clears throat> there you go. And now here's a quote. The machine spirit guards the knowledge of the ancients. Flesh is fallible, but ritual honors the machine spirit. To break with ritual, is to break with faith. From the warnings, tenets of the Adeptus Mechanicus. Okay, so we just learned about, I guess what they're saying is a Dyson Sphere. This is, you, you wouldn't, it's not a world because, I mean, anybody wants to calculate the mathematics here. It's essentially a sphere with a sun on the inside shining out onto the sphere, and that energy is then converted by the sphere into electricity or other forms of force, which you could imagine, I think, what was it? They calculated that if a Dyson sphere was here, the sun produces somewhere around seven septillion watts of energy a day. <clears throat> wow. So this is, you have the Lucius the Hollow Forge is a Dyson Sphere. That's pretty insane. That would explain how you have enough guns for a million armies right there alone, much less anything else. Next, we're going to talk about Agrippina. Orb of a Million Scars. Until then, bye.